I've wanted to make perfume oils for years. I've made uh, spiritual oils and whatnot, but I only made perfume oils for my perfume oils for myself because essential oils, fragrance oils, etc., get really expensive. And with my like spiritual oils, they weren't heavily scented. They were mainly based on like the herbs put in them, and then uh, there were also essential oils added for a little bit of scent, and also for herbs that I couldn't get, etc., things like that, you know. But um, so I made perfume oils for myself, but um not for anyone else. So finally with me as apothecary, I'm like, I will make perfume oils. I'm going to do it. Sorry, I'm like doing weird things with my hands. You can't see it though, thank God. Um, so I finally made oils today and I've been working on some blends. I ordered some oils um, recently that just came in today, so I got straight to work. And I only had a couple bottles, so I made three of each uh, type and I'm making a whole line of Dracula themed perfumes. And so I made, I uh, wanted to make five today. And uh, here's what they look like. They're not fancy. It's filled with different oils. It has a, let's see, I put it on tight so it wouldn't leak. The roll top, and you can still smell through it. Oh, that smells nice. <laughs> um, I used almond, pure sweet almond oil, vitamin E oil, and soybean oil, and then I put fragrance oils, and sometimes some of them have essential oils, but um, like things like leather and tobacco, those are fragrance oils. But um, I didn't make them for spiritual use, so I feel like it's okay. Like, it's not, like, going to affect it or, or anything. I know some people want all natural, but there's no leather essential oil. Sorry. So, <laughs> but I do hope you like it. Uh, the ones that I have right now, I'm going to pull up my list so I don't forget. Uh, Mina's Passion, which is Midnight Rose, Clove, and Black Cherry. Love it. Uh, my original recipe for that one was going to be Dragon's Blood, Rose, and Musk, but my friend said the scent was a little too masculine. Then there's Lucy's Funeral, which is Gardenia, Orchid, and Lily of the Valley. And if you know anything about Dracula, if you read the novel, don't just say you watched the movie. Stop watching my video now if you haven't read it. Um, Lucy, I always say her name wrong. Western <laughs> uh, I made this, I put stories for each of these. So I said that these were the flowers brought to her funeral. If you go to Nancy's site, there's a little tiny story for each of the little things here. Usually I go into better stories that I make up, but these ones are just kind of like, give you a vague example or of what the characters are and whatnot. Um, there's Quincy's Last Stride, which is Leather and Clove. That's a masculine scent. And Quincy is uh, Mina and John Harker's son that goes to live with Van Helsing. Um, then there's Van Helsing, which is Leather, Tobacco, and Musk. Yeah, I'm using leather a lot because I love it. I'm going to wear the men's scents <laughs> just because of leather. And then uh, I made a unisex one as well called Dracula's Allure, which is uh, Plumeria or Frangipani. I say things wrong, sorry in sandalwood. So those are the five I have now. And um, what you do is you can just like roll it on your wrist or behind your ears and whatnot. I'm not really, I don't want to make too many masculine scents because I don't know how many men would actually use them. I could see women buying it for their men and using it, but I don't really see a man <laughs> going out and rolling on some perfume on his wrists and whatnot, which you never know. Um, maybe more of the, uh, what are they called? Metro men we'll use that metrosexual yeah <laughs> but um the scents are fantastic because I wanted to make darker scents for me as apothecary because it's sort of like a dark kind of curio shop uh with a lot of cursed items don't worry none of them are really cursed I just put that as there because I like the the darkness of it I don't really get to explore that in the rest of other parts of my life um but yeah so I, I'm thinking of my next order model of bottle of orders <laughs> my next order of bottles I'm gonna get the sample sizes and sell those for like a quarter of the price or something so that I'm not losing out on the money because it does cost money for these oils and to ship them and whatnot but so you can also test them and use them I get a lot of good uses when I've gotten um, sample sizes of different oils and whatnot so yes um, I hope you check it out I'm really excited about it so I really hope they sell um, it's not just about selling them. I love making these sort of things. I really put a lot of love and, and thought into all the things that I choose. So it's not just me throwing crap together. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bummer if they don't sell. I think I'll be a little depressed. <laughs> but um, it's new. My shop is new. I got some like quick sales when I first opened it. So I'm hoping that maybe towards Valentine's Day, um, maybe I'll sell some oils or whatnot. I'll be making more of them. I'm thinking also if I can make money off this, because I have to, a lot of the money goes into paying bills since this is my job right now. It's just my two Etsy stores, stores, um, that I'll be able to do more bath and body products, more gothic, neo-Victorian kind of things. A lot of the things I'll be using are going to be based off 
Victorian novels and whatnot. So I kind of see it as steampunk in a way, but not really. I know it's, it's, it's like fantasy Victorian sort of thing. And some people will throw that into steampunk. So I tagged as such. So if you're more, if you don't, if you have stricter beliefs with steampunk, please don't yell at me or throw me on regretsy. So thank you. And uh, thank you for watching.